Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Eric Percival or Scuff Gaming. Welcome back to the uh, to Binding of Isaac. Yeah, welcome back to Inscription Casey's mod. The last time we unlocked this weird submerged uh, uh, free deck, which is why it has this big zero in front of it, uh, because everything is free to play. Uh, there's definitely a lot of potential to break this kind of a uh, dealy, and so we are going to try to break it. Uh, I am going to make it so that all battles are totem battles. Uh, weak start, because weak start is not affecting our X1s, one candle, and squirrel fish. Now, the reason that I don't necessarily care about this squirrel fish uh, gimmick is because usually we sacrifice our squirrels first turn and that they come into play anyway. So we're not upping the challenge, we're getting our rares back. And the question ultimately is, is it is it better to have rares? <laughs> is it better to have rares, or is it better to not have to fight bosses with totems? Uh, or is it better to get rares and not have to fight totem battles and have, you know, no rerolls, no anglerfish, smaller backpack, etc., etc., etc.? We have done fine without the rares. Uh, however, I want to see, I, I want to be reminded of the good old days of beating a boss and getting a rare. Um, I do believe that this tadpole turns into bullfrog. We are interested in drafting a two drop. Okay. Ant queen is a better two drop than the than otherwise. And I think I think So if we take Mole, what does that do for us? Not a lot. I mean, it allows us to splice the Tadpole. because We're going to a Ritual right away. Or do we want to put the Ant Queen Sigil on, like... The... No, we don't, because we want our 2-drop. It's a shame It's a shame that I just don't understand how this Bell Ringer things work. Because I... I... I have a feeling there's a lot of potential here, but maybe there's not. Maybe it just... It just kind of is what it is. I think I'm gonna draft the Alpha. And I think the reason that I'm gonna draft the Alpha is because I want to put uh, Alpha onto something that's free. I think I want to put Alpha on this Tadpole. Alpha Chad Tadpole, guys. And you may ask yourself, why? You know, why did why did you do that? Uh, the reason why is because we could go Tadpole, Aqua Squirrel, Rabbit, Ant Queen, and yeah. Another point of damage on the tadpole would be uh, really something, but before we decide our next move, let's go ahead and see what we've got coming up. We've got auto summon. We could do better, or is wild bull just good? This this mirror guy is is just is just it's just so good, guys. It's just so good. Our deck is miraculous. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a little crazy, I know, cause uh, cause cockroach. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes, if it's the right play, it's the right play. A point of damage. It's like I said, the point of damage. You gotta give it to the tadpole. You gotta. Up ahead, we've got another fire, maybe some kin. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to beat the we need to beat the round first. Yeah. 
Turn one, tadpole, aqua squirrel, gek, for you. Boom. That's a big, huge bitch. Hoping for a good two drop. Wolf, that's reasonable. Gonna buff our creature again a little further. Two more points of health. Two more points of health, and someone benefits from two more points of health. It is the wolf. Tadpole? Tadpole. Imagine a world where we get fecundity reptiles. You know, then then we're popping, as the kids say. Then we're popping. Popping like poppins. Tadpole, aqua squirrel, gek. Boom. off the top it's a wolf boom 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 six righteous and <laughs> draw another card out the top another tadpole a eh? or another ant queen with ideas of splicing them into an ant six. It's not the best thing you've ever seen. Honestly, I think another tadpole is perfectly fine. It has its health is hope nothing at all. Mm, do, 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 do. I am considering trying to burn out our ant queen or our wolf even. This game is a tough one because I've always been kind of on the fence about whether or not it's better to have the Ant Queen or the Wolf. So the Wolf hits harder, but is a little bit less, uh, a little bit on the like the unreliable side, shall we say? So uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to try to burn out our Canine body and leave the Ant Queen in the deck. If he dies, he dies. But yeah, I mean, otherwise he could be a three-six, I guess. And definitely we're putting this Undyne Sigil on the Gek. And whenever we draw our Gek, it is representative of a free sacrifice now. We fill our deck with a good one or two mana threat that will allow us to use the Gek aggressively. Also, he's a 1-1. One, one. This is not Alpha Tadpole. This is regular tadpole. <laughs> We're gonna go Gek Tadpole. Tadpole on, on uh, four. Get one in. Flip. One. He's gonna take our Gek, I guess. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Look, it's Alpha Tadpole. Okay. So far, so good. This deck is looking good. The opponent's gonna play a line of threats.
And we're gonna brawl with the opponent. Man, that was actually really close. We were actually gonna have to try to angle one of their things. I should just use the pliers. <clears throat> this has a red eye. I believe that this indicates that this is uh, not the douse and is something else entirely. But let's let's take it for fun. <clears throat> It's probably going to be imitating something else in our deck, and we wouldn't mind, as some people were quick to point out uh, to me behind the scenes that, in all actuality, it was pretending to be something else. For example, right now, it's it's a tadpole. <laughs> okay. Card one out of our deck. Another Ant Queen. What is with this game wanting to give me Ant Queens? Oh, there she blows. Field mice, that is. Wood carver's gonna give us the tail body. Tail body is rather good, but we want the reptile head with ideas of, again, breaking the game. Sneaky elks, welcome to Act 2. Electric Boogaloo. And this is gonna be start this is gonna start to become a problem game if you're gonna start doing this nonsense. Pronghorn, Jesus. Gonna get three in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 that card, mmm. That card is good eating. <clears throat> so, if we hook the pronghorn, pronghorn comes to our side, deals. One to the mole, two to the mole. Wolf deals two to the mole, one to the fawn behind it, and then we take one. I guess. I mean, this, this card is... is killing me. Really didn't want to have to use our angler hook so soon, but. This is, this is a little bit of the folly of having the extra copies. You just never know what the heck it's going to be. So we're, we're, we're probably going to have to ritual something out here. Which we're okay with because we could actually just field mice onto our other tadpole with ideas of splicing them together. We don't want to win this. If they give us the opportunity to, to bones trial, to bones, bones me. <laughs> Damage, huh? 000002 for four points of damage versus four blood. Yeah, I mean, if this, if this thing wasn't pretending to be a wolf, we would win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With three double blood in our deck. But a lot of free, so we shouldn't easily win this. Okay. We're okay with that. We don't really want another card. We're starting to suffer. Field mice. Onto. Well, you know what we could even do is we could put field mice onto the dang rabbit. That's the same thing to put on the tadpole, though.
It's the same thing. Oh boy. And at least now the tadpole is representing just a line of... A line of tutus. Alpha tadpole. Rabbit. Big wolf. Big boy wolf. Boom, boom, boom. Stump attack. That stump's gonna get there. Tadpole. Guess what? It's a bullfrog now. I wonder what we're going to get to put on the reptile totem if we ever get the chance. Okay. The finest pelts for sale, he says. They're expensive. 14, we'll take the one rabbit pelt. Not trying to be cheeky. <clears throat> All right. It's time to put these two tadpoles together into a monstrosity. Yeah, buddy. Now that's a threat. <laughs> now that's a threat. Look at us. We're going to get to totem also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. All right, well, I guess we're going to use all of our items because the game wants to mess with us and give us uh Ijirak? 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 I uh, that's you know, that's a scary thing. I don't know what that is. Apparently it's Ichi Ichirak. <laughs> it's at 7 you. I don't know if I if I did something on accident. Ichirak. Ichirao. I don't know. Is that a O or is it Oh, it's back to pretending? Okay. I, uh, I don't know. Game. Maybe we want another ant queen because we have ideas of just dumping a bunch of tadpoles and gex into play and sacking them for two drops. Yeah, direwolf pup is tempting too, though, because direwolf hits for four on the second turn. Yeah, I think so. A little bit of HP goes a long way on that card. For two points of health. We don't need to put any more health onto the tadpole. A little bit more staying power for the dire wolf pup. Let's finish out our totem. We have no items going into the boss fight flying. Guard dog reptiles, of which we have literally two now. Our guard dog elks, of which we have actual none. Yeah. This is fine. Maybe we should have put more HP on the gek. But we didn't know that we were going to get that totem. To be honest, I'm kind of regretting giving uh, totems to uh, to uh, the bosses.
Guess what takes seven? Oh, sorry, eight. <laughs> There's gold in the cards. Yeah, there is. Let's get those, why don't you sweep up those cards off the table, play your Bloodhound, and be done with it. Take another two, are we okay? Gosh, I don't know if we're okay. Oh, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. And now we're gonna get to play another tadpole. Servant for six. Basically, it seems like if we draw our tadpoles, if we do, we do it every time. If we kind of tease something, and break the game. And uh, Fecundity's broken. You know, Fecundity's probably going to be the, the hallmark of game breaks across anyone who's playing Casey's mod, is just get, get Fecundity and and try to figure out a way to break it. You know, and there's no shame in that. That's just, that's just the way that it goes. We have to try to get a complement of items. As much of a cop-out as that might seem, we do need to do something about this lack of items. Items can save your run. That's something that I've learned is that items can save, absolutely save your run. Items are so good. Just the ability to have a free squirrel or a free possum or a free, you know, steal your people is extremely good. Uh... Yes, I'll take a goat. And we'll take a look at the field after we do this fight. Yeah, man, these, these people. These people. <clears throat> Spiky cuckoos. Spiky cuckoo. Actually gonna I'm gonna pull the I'm gonna pull the goat off the wall. All right, dire wolf, it's all you for now, bud. Aqua Squirrels, Ant Queen, get into, take another four. Get into, take another one. Guard dog gek, all right. Get in four, take three. Sorry, six.
Oh, okay. <clears throat> so creepy. It's Ijaro. Ijirao. But apparently Ijirao is killable, so that's funny. Yeah, this fight doesn't have to go on this long, Leshy. You know, we're 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 able to outpace you now. Keepers, man. Totem totem battles are really something else, guys. Totem battles are really, really freaking annoying. <clears throat> what would we ritual if we could? The triple strike onto a wolf pup. So we just try to put both of these wolf pups together and leave the mantis god for later. We would have to get a pelt though. And that could be potentially game ending for us. As opposed to just trying to ritual. So every time I look up, so it's turning into something different. Yeah, see now it's the tadpole. Now it's the ant queen. If we if we uh, uh, mushroom, does it get rid of them? You know what, let's find out. This is getting this is getting really silly, and we need to do something about this. Each round. Don't get me wrong; having starvation on one of our cards is really good, but we just don't know what it is, and it's gummed up our hands so many times, just creating it creates an issue. I don't think this is going to get rid of them, unfortunately. But we still get the opportunity to thin the deck a little bit. Matt Scott is still good. Pull a squirrel off the wall, play a wolf. Now yeah, the wolf would just push the moose buck back over to the right. Yeah, still. Still. One, two, three, three. And then the Gek hits. I kind of, I want to leave the, the mole there. We can't take another hit. Uh, okay. Okay. Man, it's so hard to tell if we're okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. You know, I see some really complicated board states. I know I was just talking crap about you. Age rock.
<laughs> Ijiraka's like, the rest of your deck is bad, just so you know. It's not me, it's the rest of the deck. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> well, the rest of our deck isn't bad, we're just we're getting a little unlucky again. We can get another tadpole, guys. And then we could splice it again onto this boy. Yeah. The double experiment. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We got another uh, couple of mycologists coming up ahead. Is that the tadpole that we got? Yeah, sure. It sure is, bud. It sure is. I wish I knew which card is which. I really do. Squirrel. Gek. Ant Queen. Gek. Worker Ant. Gek. Tadpole. Kill you. Alright. <laughs> Mm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Another dire wolf pup. <laughs> Lamborghini! You've already got a 2 4 dire wolf pup. Do we want the Warren? I really don't want more rabbits. Like our, Most of our deck is free. Is half of our deck free? Two mantis gods. <laughs> Lamborghini? I mean, I think objectively the Warren is the best pick. Alright, can we get a better body for our reptile head? You know, ant reptiles has a lot of potential. Alright, here we go. Who's getting sacked today? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, one of which is Easy Rock. These are elder reptiles. Okay. It's a race to tadpole again. You're gonna get the black goat. leave that trap there. This is going to be a two something next turn. Huh. This is tough because I know we're going to take two. 
three potentially. Hello? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's 2022! Happy New Year! 2022! It fucking still sucks up in this bitch! Happy uh... New Year! <laughs> <laughs> I am doing a recording with the free. the, the freaking Zero Drops deck. Nice! Which is really weird. And I feel like I'm gonna die! <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna die. I just don't want to use my items again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a problem. I'm going for another lamb Isaac run. Ooh. If I kill these, do I still get the pelts? A pelt is created in your hand. So if I get rid of that sigil, I don't get a pelt. Am I understanding this correctly? Dang it. Gosh dang it, Bobby. How does Monster's Lung and Brimstone work? Uh, I, I want to say it shoots a cluster, like a Brimstone cluster. Oh shit. I think. But it like tanks your tears so it becomes really hard to shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm running in. I, the first item was Monster's Lung. Oof. I re-rolled it from the Hourglass. I re-rolled it from the Hourglass. Okay, this is a wipe. I'm just gonna allow my dire wolf to die, guys. Hey, look, that was right. That was the right call. We dire wolf, more. like a dead ass wolf. He is. Well, it was pretty dire. And I got to draw my monstrosity of a tadpole, fecundity alpha. No, oh, God. <laughs> fecundity alpha. We've got the hallmarks of a broken deck here, guys. We've got Fecundity Alpha free to play tadpole. That turns into a 2 6 bullfrog. Let's go. And also, every time we play a reptile, we get an ant. <laughs> and I guess tadpole counts as a reptile. <laughs> you know what, chat? Look, chat. Looking back on this. We should have drafted Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini would have been good in this deck. <laughs> yoink, 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 yoink. Thank you for your patronage. I'll also take Lamborghini. Let's just see how big Lamborghini would have been. Oh my god, he would have been an 8 4. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. This is gonna be a big hit. Technically a 7-4, which means we had 14 bones. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this has been a really interesting run. We took a couple of other stipulations also. Um, hey look, it's your favorite, it's Pack Rat. Yeah, let's go! We're gonna willingly draft Pack Rat because he's the best let's rare go. in the box. Pack Rat, Pack Rat. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Where'd you get those eyes? Book of Rev? Doesn't matter, I can't re roll it because these two fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> Bastard, bitch, fuck, shit, damn, fuck. Is it better to put triple strike on our 3-6 wolf? Hmm? Or on our 2-4 wolf pup that turns into a double striking 4 or something? That one. The triple striking, double striking dire wolf. I still think it'd be really cool to, to put both triple strike and double strike on something. True. Hey, Capricorn! I like how right now we have ma both Magnificus's watch and his brush as our items. But Super boss item, Magnificus's, Magnificus's dong. Magnificus's dong. <laughs> it's so powerful. I'm gonna put triple strike on the wolf because the 2 4 dire wolf up is threatening enough as it is. And that way, if we could power it off on turn one with the Warren, it's actually just killing the opponent. 
<laughs> Alright, we're on Boss Leshy on a hundred points of challenge run. I want to say it's challenge nine. Wow. Nine out of twelve. One candle, no smoke. Pop in the smoke. Smoke me. <laughs> Hank is in play. Oh, GG. Tomorrow, man. Did you lose? We drew our line of tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we ever needed was just to open with this. That's all we wanted, game. We're not asking for the world here. Boom, 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 boom. Hank tried to protect our opponent. Here comes the amalgam for three. Mr. Amalgam, you don't seem to understand that we do not care about that at all. We're going to hit you <laughs> for seven. And kill the mantis behind your face. What does it mean by intensifying tears? This, we would win. What's up? What does it mean by intensifying tears? Uh, that's epiphoria. As yeah. the longer you shoot in one direction, the faster the tears are going to come out. Oh shit. Oh, that's right, we didn't kill our opponent, so he gets to kill our line. Okay. <laughs> that's fine, dude. You want to angle one of our gold nuggets? There's gold in them, bitch. There's gold! Gold! Take him. You don't need him. Sean, the death touching 1 6. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lord have mercy on his soul. Bless my soul. Herc was on a roll. Bless my soul. Herc was on a roll. <laughs> so, bless my soul. <laughs> All right, the pack rat's gonna get played. Let's go. Sack rat, pack rat. Bless my soul. He gave us a frozen possum. Come on, bro. Yes. <laughs> you think I need that? Zero to hero. Zero to hero. <laughs> Zero to hero. Dude, uh, don't God. diss fucking Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> Don't you mean Hercules? Ooh, I do mean that. <laughs> We're gonna get you taken down from YouTube. <laughs> Why? Because we said Hercules? Because I said because we said bless my soul. Herc is on a roll. That's the Disney song. That's copyright. Um, bless my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <I don't> care. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get, they're not gonna take it down. They're gonna copyright claim for the song. I didn't even see, see it right. Let's see, can't monetize it. Oh god, no! I can't monetize it. I'm making so much money. <laughs> they're gonna strike this video just for being a smartass. <laughs> Leshy, can you do me a favor? Can you please kill this gold nugget? <laughs> this is getting stoops. <laughs> Zero to hero. Hero, zero, zero. Oh, it resets on the room. Stupid. <laughs> zero. Oh, this item sucks. What, Epiphora? Yeah. Yeah. It resets if you stop shooting in a direction. No, but it resets in the room, too. Oh, yeah. Because what I was going to do is I was going to try and, like, like up for the boss. Yeah, this is so really strong. Oh, I'm gonna just re-roll this room. I don't like that room. Freaking our dire wolf was a three eight. God. What a wiener. The oh, fuck? Where did that guy go? <sighs> How many misplays did I make today? Five. Ooh, I'm getting better. <laughs> Five misplays. Four bosses defeated. 172 cards drawn. Biggest stack 18. Oof. Scrolls harm. Excited 24. to play through that with me when I go through the Casey's mod. What's up? He said, are you excited to go through that with me when I go through the gate? Oh, the yeah. Mod? <laughs> what is this? Pelt lice? I... What? I got a new card, and it just says pelt lice. Mm -hmm. 
and I don't know what that means. Pelt lice? Pelt lice? <laughs> Alright, well the next challenge rating is 0 out of 110 for challenge rating 11 before the final challenge gets unlocked. I gotta be real with you guys, I think that it's way better to not have to deal with boss totems and to not get rares than it is to have to fight bosses with totems because the sketchiest parts of some of these bosses has been the fact that they have totems. The bosses themselves sometimes are not necessarily so bad without the totems, but sometimes you get something like the trapper's reptile traps being elder and suddenly there are two threes that you have to kill and lose your creature against two threes. Mm -hmm. Or, like, the stage two, uh, uh, the stage two prospector having canines with loose tails. That's really yeah. bad. <laughs> or like spiky or whatever. Or the the angler having like. <clears throat> Actually, the angler is almost never that bad. Now that I think about it, I think a big part of that is because the anglers. Uh, always playing like kingfishers and kingfishers could have whatever on them as long as it's not elder or fledgling and that's fine as long as they're not fledgling then it's not a big deal they could be spiky they could move they could do whatever it doesn't matter so i think when we go to challenge rating 110 i'm going to opt to do everything that we did today including you know weak start one life candle squirrel fish oath totem battles boss totems we could even take the rares off the table, uh, but I think I'm going to say no boss rares and then try to come up with 15 points of uh, hindrance for myself. Probably pricey pelts, no rerolls, and no hook, and that's fine. Uh, this is still perfectly doable, especially if what we were able to come up with is like what we came up with today, which is just a broken deck. Fledgling, ripped uh, tadpoles. <laughs> Uh, or not fledgling, uh, fecundity. Because remember, putting fecundity on something that's free just means you can sack infinitely. More or less. You know. Or you could at least put out a full line of whatever, and then you go to one fire, you buff it one time, and suddenly, you know, we've got a 1-1 a one -one that's just a perpetual. So, if you were playing Casey's Mod, and we're almost at the end of these challenge runs, that's what I suggest to you if you want to win. Try to find a field mice. Try to find a fecundity totem. It's broken. They know it's broken. They may have to nerf it. <laughs> Mantis God, Mantis God. Or play the Mantis God deck. Because the Mantis God deck is also really good. Uh, not a fan of the Bones deck. Just not a fan of it. I feel bad. I just don't like it. I don't think it's that good. <laughs> I think it's medium. I think if the alpha was a cockroach, it would be better. <laughs> uh, but let me know what you think about Casey's mod. We're almost done with these runs, and uh, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have an even better 2022, because we're in 2022 now. So <laughs> take it easy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.